the letters kind of just make a point of something. Sure. No, that's like cool. select the prop. Yeah, that's what makes your props right Just two of you? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So I'll tell you what I know the other team. Yeah. Uh, maybe before we um, get to start the 10 minute yeah. thing. Uh, you all could just introduce yourselves yeah. and, and give a little synopsis of the context of the case, you know, for maybe no more than a minute before we start really looking at the ethical dimensions. Yes, yeah. yeah. sounds good. Does that sound good? Yes, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, 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 and you'll be doing this in what language? Is, uh, uh, well, 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 there's not to there's not to debate. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> All right. Um, so, what, uh, why don't you introduce yourselves? And tell us a little bit about what kind of case you're talking about. Buenos dias, me llamo es Christopher. And el es mi amigo Spencer. We are covering um, uh, go, our school, Going West's contract with Higher One Holdings Inc., which deals with all the funded disbursements for for Going West College, and we're going to about why we think it's fairly terrible. And um, am we, I? Am I? You will be the board of trustees of Going West College, and we will be um, a student advocate group. It's like a student a student task force who's upset about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, oh, no way. <laughs> but I've gotten so good at this now. <laughs> Hi, Alan. <laughs> ah, right. <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Oh, you all know how to do that? I Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, quiet in the house, please. You ready to go? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, fire away. Hi, hi, I want to thank you, the Board of Trustees of Golden West College, for inviting us back to talk to you about the ethical issues de when dealing with your contract with Higher One Holy Zane. So, um, as a brief roadmap, we will be talking about, first talking about like, you know, like the history of Golden West with Higher One. They will be talk, discussing why a success quote is a, currently abusive towards a student body uh, before heading off to my friend Spencer, to, who will talk about the more personal issues with Taiwan Holdings. Uh, so, as you probably are aware, in, um, in the summer of 2013, Taiwan um, Holdings Inc. Uh, uh, bought um, Sally May's uh, uh, Campus uh, Solutions, uh, Campus Solutions Corporate Incorporated, in which was the, uh, the then uh, contract, uh, which was the, the then cut. The contract holder of Go with Gomez College who dealt with all the fund disbursement. Um, uh, at first, it looked like a great, like, like a great uh, a deal because, well, whereas Sally May's contract, like Gomez had paid twenty thousand uh, dollars, Higher One only only is only charging Golden West five thousand dollars. It was like a great deal, but in reality, what it did was it shifted the the, bur the burden from the, the the fiscal burden from Golden West to the student body. Um, according to Higher One's CEO, they make fifty dollars per student. In, uh, fifty dollars per student. At Golden West, we have seventeen thousand students, so they're making eight hundred and fifty thousand dollars currently off of the back of the student body. Um, uh, which, which this, this leads to about this is like comes to about only 0.6 percent of their revenue from our campus actually comes from the contract. Everything else. Is just the student 98.4 percent is 
uh, of all the revenue is from just us as students who are just trying to get by. Um, some of the fees that you're probably aware include, include a $50 overdraw, overdrawn fee, a $29 to $38 recurring bill payment fee, a $2.75 ATM withdrawal fee, and a $0.50 cent, uh, point of service fee. Now, now this, this looks like just you know normal bank normal bank bank fees. What's the big deal? The thing is, historically, the um, student aid was not a market was not a market making endeavor. Was was uh, was not a profit making endeavor. It, it, it should it should have been. It should. It's, uh, student services is supposed to be there for to help the students. It's supposed to be there for the students in order to, for students to go and just to get so they can take classes, get by, and get education. And by making it a market, by making it a profit-making endeavor, it's just it's a bastardization of what education is is about. Uh, Spencer, yeah. In my personal uh, story with Hire One, it started last summer when Hire One bought out Sally Mae uh, Funds Distributions. And uh, I got the old Sally Mae card in the mail for my school card as uh, my financial aid. And when I went to school, they said that my money could not be put on that card because it was the old card and I would need the new Hire One card. When I went to inquire about the new Hire One card, I uh, sent an email, sent out calls to Hire One, as well as working through my own financial aid office, and I didn't hear back anything for about a month. And when I did, it was just a single email telling me that my information had been lost and that they haven't done anything yet for me. So I continued to look into it, see what I could do, resubmitted my information, and uh, finally, with about a week to two weeks left in the school year, uh, the end of the semester, I finally got my card, as well as my funds on it a few days after. And uh, that semester was really rough. I had to go into my own personal money. I had to take family, friends, IOUs, and I was honestly very thankful that I had those people in my life. And uh, But I wouldn't want them or any of your own family or friends to go through that either. Um, when I got down to it, when I finally got my money transferred, uh, they said that I couldn't even direct deposit before that because I would need the higher one account in order to direct deposit into my own account. Finally, like I said, got the card. When I went to transfer the money, it cost me roughly $330 just in transfer fees, and I was looking at every single possible way that I could to transfer the money the cheapest way possible. Um, once I had gotten the money in there, paid off uh, my IOUs, uh, my credit and credit that I'd been started since I was 16 on credit cards, uh, back down to zero, if not worse than it was when I started. And uh, I've had to go through a lot of other loopholes this last semester in getting my books funded and living on my, paying my own daily bills. As well as a few other colleagues in our school have had similar stories. Uh, one of our friends, David, he uh, didn't even sign up for financial aid, got three cards in the mail, as well as 30 more um, emails. As well as his girlfriend isn't even registered student at our school, she got two cards in the mail, as well as multiple more emails. Um, another one of our good friends, Angel, uh, he couldn't get his card, started at the end, uh, beginning of the semester. Around the first few weeks of November, he went to inquire about it, and he didn't even hear back till middle of January after the semester had already concluded. Um, when going on with Hire One, we see that there are hidden fees. There are things they take from us, and it's not just our personal money. It's student aid money that helps us go to school, sustain our own life, and as well as learn and continue on with our knowledge. Um, I, I urge you, as as the board of trustees, to work with us, the students, in finding out a solution to this matter, and strongly and as quickly as possible. Okay, so like we don't really blame the board of trustees for being in this contract in the first place because they were given to them at the last minute because like they found that every contract was bought. But you have to you have to be aware that well you're probably aware because if you just Google hire one, the first thing that shows up on on Google is just a list of all the lawsuits that they lost and the ones that are currently pet still pending. And, um, they actually were found in violation of Section 5 of the FTC Act for deceptive business practices. It was proven in the court of law, well before you entered contract with them, that they were harmful. They were harmful for just having all these hidden fees. All these hidden fees are hiding behind websites. It was taking money that the government, federal government, grants towards students and just taking taking a, more than just a little off the top. That is unavoidable because the students, their only option is to go and deal with higher one because the school made the contract to them so they can get the money that is legally theirs. And that the benefit, any benefit from higher one um, was completely outweighed by the harms. Like the only benefit was 
Well, you might get your money eventually. Um, but these, uh, it's not just about how you want. It's about you as a board of to go to college. Um, your contract allowed Higher One to send out this letter, which was labeled as important information from Golden West College. This is the only notification that students were given of your new contract. And it, this is all it says, is that, hey, you could get fast, secure, easy money, and that this is just another way to make money off of your school. That's all, that's the only information we're given. Like, students are not expected to be aware of all the contract dealings of the school. You should have been beholden then to go and say, hey, we have a new contract, it sucks, but we hope that you deal with us until we get a better deal. Um, but, and, and this on top of that is, you, on, on your website you have a mission statement. On your mission statement, it, you enlist your key values. Um, one of the key values is stewardship and sustainability. Um, you're, you're, you then go on to go to define these terms as being responsible for utilizing and developing in our human environment and fiscal resources. Um, miss, uh, the board, uh, you are currently need, you, you have to be aware that this is not that charging students eight hundred fifty thousand dollars so you can save twenty fifteen thousand dollars is not a good use of fiscal resources. This is a complete failure of you as an educational as an institution. Um, you, I like going forward, we hope that you uh, that you re, that you consider our proposal that we gave you uh, pre, on our previous meeting of like either one, like your contract with Higher One is looked is, is going to be renewed this summer. Like I, we hope that you make huge changes to your contract. Or, or two, look at we're making a contract with another bank, with another bank maybe to, we suggest schools first. Or three, um, some schools make the, make the patent create their own student credit union. Maybe you can look into this in the future. Thank you. Thank you. As a member of the Board of Trustees, I'm horrified <laughs> at this um, situation. I knew nothing about it. <laughs> no one told me that this was going to be done. And I want to talk to the president and to the officers of the university as soon as possible about it. Rest assured that uh, uh, the board will be back to you with some answer after an investigation is done. And we very much appreciate your coming Thank you very much. and uh, making us aware of this. Um, outside my role as a board of trustee member, I thought you all did a very fine job in explaining the facts. Um, and uh, uh, I can, I, just as a, a personal question, I, I assume that a lot of the students are really quite upset about this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, honestly, when I was going into it and looking, we tried to get an uh, unofficial and an official survey of the students. Yeah. And, and going through that, we found even the best of stories, there were no positive or even there were still some things that they had to go through, loopholes or waiting time to get their money. Mm -hmm. So a lot of students are suffering from this. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Plus, uh, uh, higher, higher one is that is it called higher higher yeah higher, higher one, one, higher one, one yeah higher one holdings one. yeah they're making quite a bit of money. Uh, off yeah. The, yeah. yeah well, they have eight, this, they're probably just over eight hundred schools currently. Eight hundred schools. Yeah. yeah. I gotta go back to my university and try to see if we've got something like that. Um, at any rate, thank you for that information. Uh, thank you for your presentation. We really appreciate your being. Thank you.